just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Bates takes it at the 14, tackle at the 27-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 31-yard line. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. He's brought down in the open field. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Heading for the corner. Knocked out of bounds around the 46-yard line. scrambling and he sacked this quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers it's second and 12 ball on the 47 yard line Taken down around the 45-yard line. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. Number nine was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Buffaloes and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, he just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 23. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Number 22 makes the second ball with the 26 yard line. That'll bring up 34. And he hits him hard at the 16 yard line. Hirsch is back to receive. And he's tackled at the 47 yard line. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. The 
cavalry's coming. Slings it out there incomplete. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. That makes it so it's time. second and ten. Ball on the 47. He's taken down at the 37. Six-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Got some open field. Seven-yard scamper on the keeper. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up second and three. So we're looking at another third down here. Quick throw. And they make the stop at the 13. yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Give to the tailback and he's met in the backfield. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. Splits the uprights with the extra point. So a nine-play, 48-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. So the score now, 7-0. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He'll return it from the one. Not a very good kick return there, Kirk. They shut that one down in a hurry. There was nowhere to go once the return man got the ball. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's tackled right around the 10-yard line. So they give it to the fullback, and he's able to get him eight on the carry. That makes it second and two. So at the end of one, the Cougars in front. 7-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. That's a great tackle at the 23-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. The 
He'll give it off here. He's to the 40, the 50. Tackle at the 26-yard line. That was a good-looking play, and it sort of caught the defense off guard. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Five wide. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Well, a new quarterback, but we saw this kid getting reps both in practice and in the pregame walkthrough, so this isn't a big surprise. the touchdown. Well-designed play to get the half back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's drawn up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 98-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. back with a carry brought down at the 27 man did he play that perfectly or what as a linebacker you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis which is exactly what he did on that play from their own 27 yard line it's second down goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete I'd say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. That makes it so important. He makes it to the 42-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. And he 
throws it away. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. Hirsch is back deep to return the punt. And he just got stood up right there. Well, it's always fun to be part of an offensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. At this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. From their own 32-yard line, it's first down. Out of bounds at the 35. their own 49 yard line first down you know at that point i think brad the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack you have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball if you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you just give up on that play and get ready for the next down Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. The quarterback was just lucky to get that pass off. He was under a lot of pressure in the pocket. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. He's under pressure. He rifles it. From the 30-yard line, second down. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. The Cougars call a timeout. That's their second of the half. And this is the 10th play of the drive. And he tackles him hard to 37-yard line. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. little too much leg into that punt they'll bring it out to the 20. so we played two quarters we get a tie game at 7-7 
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So... You know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk takes the second half. Heading into the third quarter now. Tie ball game. We're set to resume play. From his own goal line. They'll bring him down at the 28. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. There's a strike complete. He's down. That's good for the they need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's taken down around the 37-yard line. Just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. Hirsch is back deep to return. Well covered by the kicking team. He didn't go anywhere. What I like about this play is that the guys stayed in their lanes and didn't allow the big play. You knew that return was doomed as soon as he put his hands on the ball. With the field as messy as it is, he wasn't going anywhere. Here's the throw to the fullback. And he is drilled at the 26. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Gets to that quickly. And he hits him hard at the 32. That makes it third and three. Taken down at about the 33 yard line. That brings us fourth and three. Brought down at the 38 yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it second From their own 39-yard line. Second down. Defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. 
caught open field, and he's level at the 46. Hirsch back to return it. Here's the nope, they snap it to the up back. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. And the defense comes through. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Play action. And down he goes around the 30-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. He fights forward to about the 30. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That makes it second and ten. seven-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. He's in trouble. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they make the stop right around the 24-yard line. That makes it so cool. This will make it a field goal game. The kick is away. It's long enough. And it's wide left. No good. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Hey, remember, you don't have to go for it on fourth down. The last time you had the football, you went for it on fourth down, and you didn't convert. Just think about this. If you move the ball into your opponent's territory, you want to take a chance, and it makes sense to go for it on fourth down. I understand that, and I get it. But when you're in your own territory, and it's fourth down and five or longer, just considering the front would make me so happy. And he's tackled around the 26-yard line. Call it a game of two yards. Third down. Third down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 26. A little toss across the middle. That's a great tackle at the 36-yard line. That's good for a game of ten yards. First down. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. The 10. He scores. What a play. He splits the uprights with the extra point. to the fourth quarter and both of these defenses are still stealing the show the Buffaloes lead 14-7 looks like they're ready for the kick Bates takes it at the 16, and he's taken down at the 26-yard line. All right, 
back. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Inside give, tackle right around the 26-yard line. To get back in this game here in the fourth, this third and goal is vital. Fires out quickly to the tailback, tackle for a loss. So the offense fails to pick up a first down. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. <laughs> Tries to get around the corner. Still dragging guys. Tackle at the 45. Up to this point, I wouldn't want to be an offensive coordinator in this game, but you know what? There's still time left. There's still time left, and it's still a competitive game. As bad as these offenses have looked, if you can string together a player or two, maybe try to get in the field goal range, who knows? Maybe a touchdown on the board could be the difference in the game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They're about four yards away here on second down. And a quick throw. Brought down at the 30-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Makes it to the 21. That's good for a gain of nine yards. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. There's a play fake. Steps out of bounds at the 17. Quick pass. It's complete for about four yards and a first down. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. The 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the run. Just over two minutes in the game. Finds a man. Touchdown.
converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He's under some heat. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice game on second down. He's going to go for the home run. Dropped. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. That makes it second and ten. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. Throws it in a hurry. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 41. Nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down. First and 10. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Throws complete, he's got room to work. Tackle made at the 30. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws complete, he's got space to work, and he's taken down at the 25 yard line. Stops the clock with a spike. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Fires it out to the tight end, and he's got the first. He's taken down right around the 14-yard line. It right in his hands. Touchdown. And that touchdown gets these guys right back in the game. We're looking at a one-score ball game now. And he adds the extra point. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The Cougars using their third and last timeout. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. him hard at the 24. That's good for the game in 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Number five, guys, double tight. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. Hey, alert 48. Hey, you know Mike. 
The Buffaloes coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team is able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.